All right, this is some test footage for Conversion Conversations. And today we've got Power of the Primes Jazz. I know he's been out for a little while, uh, but he's new to me. I picked him up um, specifically because I want to put repro labels on him, turn them into, they've got a, a character named Smoke out that you can convert this toy into with the right stickers. And it looks really, really sharp, just adding in more red and black accents uh, on top of the white and blue color scheme. But yeah, so here's Power of the Primes Jazz. He's got kind of his own mix of racing deco, uh, very reminiscent of G1, but obviously does not have the martini racing or um, the shell uh, emblem on the sides or, or anything like that. But still looks uh, heavily influenced by his G1 self. Uh, the original toy was a Porsche 911, I believe. Uh, this guy still seems like a very sharp racing guy. And you can see the underside, kind of see the hints of the robot, but it's not... Not as blatant as some other toys. Um, as a size comparison, so we've got Power of the Primes Jazz over here. My other Jazz figure, and what I'm going to keep as my main Jazz, is still Fall of Cybertron Jazz. You can see he's uh, significantly shorter. This was during a uh, spike in oil prices uh, when they were planning the Fall of Cybertron line, led to the Deluxe line being a lot smaller than it traditionally was. Uh, some other jazz molds we have are uh, animated uh, Transformers Collector's uh, Jackpot and United Stepper. And then we also have, if we can squeeze them in frame, uh, Shattered Glass Ricochet. So these are all derived from uh, toys that were originally jazz. Uh, Ricochet, in his case, he was a Cybertron toy. I forget the name of that uh, character, but he got remade into Shattered Glass Jazz and then Ricochet. And he's the evil Autobot version of Stepper. So yeah, so we've got all sorts of different cards, and as you can see, the Deluxe line is generally kept the same size. I think Ricochet is probably the biggest guy. Um, but yeah, we'll sweep them out of the way and get back to Power of the Primes Jazz. He does come with, a, instead of a hand foot gun, the Power of the Primes line comes with a hand that can also turn into a shield or a uh, like a baby Bjorn, basically, for Prime Masters. And then he comes with his little gun that you can stick. Uh, he's got convenient ports up top. You can simulate kind of maybe an engine at the top of the car with the power of the primes or like some sort of futuristic fast pack on this thing. But yeah, he looks real good. And let's go ahead and start getting him into robot mode. So first we'll take off his accessories. And then the first thing I like to do is flip out the arms. Just get those out of the way. And then from the back, uh, there's a tab in here that you can separate kind of his whole top and back and shoulder section. Get that out of the way and let's go ahead and convert his legs. Split them apart. I like to flip it over and open up uh, from the outside the legs, flip that out, and from the inside flip down the feet. Same thing on the other side. Super simple transformation. I didn't even need the instructions for this, which is a good thing because Hasbro instructions really are not the clearest things in the world. Uh, come up top, open up his his uh, top section, has two halves to it, and then come into the inside and you can fold the chest area down and it kind of fills out the chest from the bottom and fold his head up. And now you can collapse, uh, if, let me remember the direction, there you go. So if it's out straight, bend at the middle joint, collapse it down, and there's two tabs up here, uh, two slots up there, and two tabs uh, in here. It's hard to see because it's it's clear plastic, but here and here, those will collapse down and lock in. Let's see if we can get that, yep. And then this chest collapses, and it covers up that combiner port in the center there. And now you've got Deluxe Jazz. And he looks he looks really good as Jazz. He, he's a really good rendition of a, a kind of a modern take on jazz. I particularly love his head sculpt. I wasn't originally going to get him because I do have a jazz already um, and I was waiting for a repaint but it looks like Power of the Primes is not going to do a repaint. Um, that line seems to be a lot shorter. But yeah it's like he's got like the hint of a nose and a mouth but not a full nose and a mouth and I actually really really like that. It looks really sleek and futuristic. It matches kind of He's got that big, broad, jazz car front chest that we know and love. Does not have the door wings, but that's perfectly okay. They integrate pretty well into his forearms, and it just looks real tight. And then uh, if you want, you do have his uh, 
Power of the Primes arm thing. I usually end up making these like bucklers on their chest kind of like that or on their arm like that and then give him a gun to hold and there's but for now let's do some size comparisons. So here we have Jazz and here we have Fall of Cybertron Jazz and you can definitely see the height difference here and the, the difference in mass. Fall of Cybertron Jazz obviously uh, in robot mode hints stronger to the, the blue coloring and I believe that's that's relatively accurate to the game. Um, but yeah, it, this was actually my one of my first, uh, I believe it was Generations Cup was the first Transformers toy I got when I got back into collecting. Um, and then Fall of Cybertron Jazz was the second. I like that his, like their guns are similar in, in kind of referencing the G1 material, but they are different takes on the character. Um, and then let's, uh, you know what, I love transforming my toys. So let's just go ahead and do some more of that. So here we've got animated jackpot. Uh, what I love here is he's got these like, uh, these exhausts on the side, but they are secret nunchucks because he's a cyber ninja. And I believe this is the iteration of the character that kind of spawned that idea of Jazz being some sort of cyber ninja guy. Uh, let me see if I can remember uh, arms I want to get out. Yeah. Same thing on this side. And then I can separate here and pull down legs. There we go. Get those feet out. Man, this is uh, a lot harder than it looks. This is, the, the, the other YouTube reviewers definitely make this look a lot easier than it is. Uh, special shout outs, uh, I guess the inspiration for me trying to do this is uh, channels like Vangelis and TJ Omega with random reviews um, are a lot of fun to watch. Unfortunately, it seems like they're not able to make the amount of videos they used to be able to. You know, life gets in the way and it's like I'm at a stage now where I've kind of got free time and uh, I like what they do. Uh, obviously, I don't do it as well, but if... Uh, I can have a little an excuse to have a little fun with my toys and just stick it up to share. Uh, I'll take it. So here we've got Jackpot, and I, I'm really impressed in the animated line how they managed to take right the vehicle mode. He's about the same size as Fall of Cybertron Jazz, um, but then animated Jazz just explodes upward. It's such good transformations. I was not in the the fandom. Uh, when animated came out, but when I got back to it, the anime line has been something I've been going back and retroactively uh, collecting. Uh, and then we have uh, United Stepper. Lovely, lovely deco. I really love that gold and red accents and everything on the car. Uh, let me see if I can get him right on the first try, too. I believe I'm going to get the doors out of the way because he's got these speakers, which uh, for the Generations Jazz mold that this is based off of, that's a reference. Uh, to something in the G1 cartoon. I'm kind of a weird Transformers fan, I guess, in that I don't I don't care about Generation 1 all that much. That was very much before my time. Uh, Beast Wars was kind of my Transformers media, and I'm super happy that uh, we're getting all sorts of new Beast Wars stuff. I've pre-ordered Masterpiece Megatron. He's coming out. He's going to be expensive, but he looks like he's going to be very, very worth it. Uh, get the legs right. Oh, forgot the gun. He's got like a cool gimmick to hide his gun and the gun itself transforms. That was something I liked in in uh, the Generations line. Or Classics. Maybe this is technically Classics. Oh, so I got you pretty much. And this guy really holds up. I, I want to say besides maybe the Seeker mold... Classics Jazz has been repainted and repurposed as other characters the most out of any toy. Um, like, a lot of the the customs and things that I do are, are either getting Seekers into different body types or getting, like, characters that are only released as this mold as different body types. Just because I, I do like the characters, but I, I want to try and own only... Let's put them here. I want to try and own only only one version of a mold if I can help it, unless there's some uh, in-game reason, like there or in in media reason. Uh, speaking of, this is a custom kickoff from RID 2015 Jazz, 
really, really love. That's another head sculpt I like. That prime head sculpt I know people, prime slash aligned, people aren't as big of fans of because they lack noses, but I, uh, oh, let's see if we can get the camera to focus. Come on. Nope, maybe it's too close. There it is. Um, I, I just love the way his head looks. So I took a, a RID 2015 Jazz, and he's been repainted. It's still a work in process, but he's uh, an attempt at kickoff. I need to add more gray around here, uh, darken this up to an orange, and darken this up to a red. Right now he looks a lot like Jackpot, doesn't he? Um, but this was another toy where they had a TFCC uh, figure that was basically this mold repainted as as this guy. And then the last one is, of course, uh, Shattered Glass Ricochet, who I I also am really happy with. He's Evil Stepper, uh, turns into a Bugatti, which obviously is not a, a traditional jazz vehicle mode. Uh, love his gimmick with uh, the cyber key, put the cyber key in, guns flip out. That's always pretty cool. That's, that's a gimmick I wouldn't mind them coming back. I was actually thinking originally that Power of the Primes, instead of being like an amalgamation of other toy lines gimmicks, would be uh, bringing back some sort of cyber key functionality with Prime Masters, but it looks like they're just kind of haphazard Titan Masters. It, uh, Power of the Primes, I'm glad we're getting certain combiners that we didn't get before, and the leader evolutions look cool, but I'll, I'll admit on the whole, I very much liked Titan's Return as a unified play pattern way more. And I know a lot of people don't care much about the play pattern without, I forgot he's got like feet on both sides. Uh, don't care about the, the play pattern, but Titan's Return has really, that captured something in me from being a kid, the setting up play sets. Oop, this guy I can never, it's always a little tough, I think, spread it. There we go, just get that out of the way. We can reattach there. I believe this was BotCon 2011 was animated. Shattered, was this like 2008? Shattered Glass was 2008. Uh, oh, and he's got a cool, he's got like his whole spinal column collapses down and uh, locks into place. His head's a little flat. Um, fun Pub, or not Fun Pub, is it Fun Pub? TFCC is notorious for, for that. And he's got kind of that Cybertron where they, they weren't sure what to do with all the car bits. They still were figuring out how to get everything organized. That, that's something I've appreciated. I know a lot of people have complaints about the engineering in the modern toy lines, but I, I really do appreciate, uh, there we go. If you compare him to like Power of the Primes Jazz, there's, there's almost no kibble. Like, the back part counts kind of as kibble. Uh, let's uh, give him... Oop, there we go, shoulder cannons. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the various jazzes. And uh, I like the figure. He's kind of become a generic uh, all sorts of, like, the default Autobot body type to me. I know Prowl... Um, the, the three, right, Prowl, Blue Streak, Smokescreen are kind of, they started out as they got repainted a lot and as different characters and, and that kind of became the default out of body. But for me, for whatever reason, it's jazz. Anyway, uh, hope you like this. Uh, it's basically just me geeking out, talking about toys. Eventually I'm going to subject my friends to it and that'll be all sorts of fun. And, uh, thanks guys. All right. And here we have a comparison before and after the stickers in vehicle mode. And here we have a comparison in robot mode.